so NYK style icon from the tw from the two thousands. Are you giving him love now? Are you showing him how to do it? Well, Justin's always been looking pretty fly to me, and obviously with the new answer kits that he's been wearing, he's looking pretty pretty sweet. And he obviously always ties in the boots and the gloves and the helmets and the goggles. He's definitely not he's not sleeping on the details. So the details are important. They're very important. Is that something like you're going through the catalog, like I'm gonna do this with this catalog and do this with I'm this? I'm going through picking out, you know, the stuff that I like and what I can match with what and things like that, how I'm gonna put my kit together because, like I said, that's important to me, the details. You know, you, you look good, you feel good, you write good. That's age old saying. Everybody knows that, so you gotta look good, man. The, the, the answer good that I've been running here lately that we got, I've been making sure everything looks, looks good head to toe and it's, I feel like I have the best setup on the track, no bias. So ultimately, like, you kind of, because Answer's obviously always marketing different stuff, different colorways. They got spring gear coming now, which, like, the stuff you're wearing today is what this, I think they call that acid and blue. Acid and blue. And it's, like, based off the uh, Synchron, which is, which is the entry level, but it's stuff that you're wearing, too. Yep. So it obviously has a good performance, and the look is obviously hype. I love how this stuff Oh, works. snap, look at that gear. <laughs> But at the same time, like, those guys are marketing different colorways each time. So, like, what, they'll tell you Monday or you'll inquire, like, Monday, like, yo, I, we're going to wear this greenish yellow this weekend. And then yeah, you're like, just, boom, I got this I got this helmet and them gloves yep. already ready. This firing. Yep, yep. See, last week I had the red helmet because I had red gear. And I had red boots. So this week we got the this green and blue, acid and blue, whatever they call it. So I got the helmet with the, the green accents and the... And the boots to match, so all right, all just right. hit them up and see like midway through the week what I'm wearing and get a plan going. Yeah, I mean I know that's from a rider standpoint. Like I'm just doing, you know, it's pretty important to look tight. It is. So it's it like is. you got to have the communication with the with the with the gear company. Who obviously, we, I mean we do this yeah. we do this every weekend, right? We race every weekend in the year. We ride however many times a week. Yeah. You want to make sure you look good because that keeps it exciting. Every time you hit the track. Every time. Ideally. You, during the week. Every time. During the week. Weekends, whatever. Yeah. So things have been going up and you had an up and down season so far. You've had some super awesome qualifying races. There's some obviously some highlight reels, some crashes while you're leading heat races and stuff that took you out. But uh, I mean, as a whole, like your determination's there. It's just kind of need looking for a breakthrough in the main. Yeah, like you said, I had I won a heat race. You know, the semis I've been in, I've won. I don't know couple of those whatever yeah, I like I, to see that on TV you know my kids are like damn Bogle's all over the TV <laughs> but their answer too you know oh, like, of course of course like, yeah they're like where's my, where's my teammate at exactly yeah we're teammates but uh yeah man just I've been working during the week I've been trying everything I can uh, making a lot of progress during the week man it hasn't showed on the weekends yet but it's coming yeah I mean even after you came back from injury I'd see you you know you like you say you would win a semi or be up there in the heat or won a heat and then in the main you Obviously, there's a super deep field, and everyone's talented, and you know you're scrapping out there. So, I mean, it doesn't go unnoticed for sure. And always looking high. It's tough out there, but I mean, we're working. Yeah, I, for sure. I know where I belong, and we're gonna get there. How is it to have NYK as a hype man? Hype man's an underrated job. It really is. Um, you have to have the right amount of enthusiasm mixed with calmness, because it's like you you don't want to be too amped up. But you definitely want to be amped up. There's a fine line in there. So you mix, you mix want, some practice at this. Yeah, you don't want to throw anybody off. You don't want to, you don't want to seem like over amped. Exactly. Then it's just it's not it's not. Yeah. The dirt's tacky here in St. Louis. We don't want any like loop out situations, nothing like that. <laughs> from getting too amped. So we got we got the perfect mix here. Yeah. Like I said, you don't you don't get to this level and surround yourself with people that aren't professionals. Okay. That's what I, I'm trying to say. Watching you in those last like that last lap of practice every day is good because that's when you really get loose. There's some like one footers, mm -hmm. some whips. How do you learn all that? I mean, just uh, taking my time after I'm done riding to try to have some fun. Kind of, you, you lose sight of that a little bit when you're not doing good. So that's kind of a way to like jumpstart the like good vibes back again. You know, you just go out and have a little fun, throw some whips, maybe a knack knack, whatever, and I put a smile on your face. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, like it's. That's something like all the fans, even me, like I'm watching and maybe not, I'm not watching you every lap, but I'm keeping tabs and I'll be like, oh, my man's having a good day today. Look at this little whip down turn down. So, I mean, there's getting a lot of material for the, you know, for the whip it Wednesday, I see a lot of, yeah, whip it Wednesday, just stacking every, up footage. Got 52 ready to go. 
Hey, so then, but like, on that stuff, at what point were you like, okay, now I'm gonna like drop a leg off. I'm gonna do this huge whiff. Like, I don't think when I'm at milestone, I'm just like, oh my god, I just have to make it over this stuff. <laughs> this is obviously way different for you, though. It evolves over time. It's like anything. It evolves over time and it gets better. <laughs> if you had seen the first one, I'm sure it was probably pretty pathetic. So, just I don't know. I thought they were fun. They looked cool in photos. So that's really what we do it for, right? Yeah. Everybody, real good. everybody wants to have their own their own image, their own deal, and Justin's done a great job with that. You know, like with his riding, expresses himself that way. He's having a good time with it. Obviously, he's super determined and focused at it, going to the top. But at the same time, you know, it's it's rad to have, uh, you know. An answer athlete looking dope head to toe and having a good time with it because it's that's really what it's all about. That's what we all started riding. Exactly. But it's not. I mean, it's not like it's taken away from his focus or anything there. So it's just like, part like of it. Like you said, it's awesome that you notice and other people notice that he's out there having, having a good fun. Time. Yeah. Okay. You were cut when you were a kid and watching races. NYK was in his prime. What's your most standout Nick memory? Unadilla when he did a. Uh, handstand and did a full front flip yeah which is also my kids favorite too because they're always on they're, it was they're, so they're always they're always on youtube and they're like yeah. dude you weren't kidding nick way big crash that's no <laughs> joke <laughs> that's a stand up yeah that's right. i never forget him being rc no no oh fair enough you know that's a good day yeah.